Hello everyone, welcome to our book talk for today. We're gonna get started introducing Make Make, which is one of the electronic resources that our guests get for free with their membership. Make Make is a digital library with electronic books in Spanish for children. It also includes a lot of resources for parents and educators to help develop Spanish language literacy in children from a very young age through elementary school. You can access it by logging in our catalog and scrolling on the electronic resources section to find it. Pay attention to the arrows and it will show you where to go when you're online. And now we're gonna talk about Just the Story by Jeff Mack. This is part of our picture book collections for book. And in Just the Story, a young reader at the library comes upon a mysterious, attractive, and fascinating book, and he starts to turn the pages becoming joyfully unaware of increasingly odd situations and occurrences that lead him into a lot of fun. And we also gonna talk about Todos Vieron Un Gato. They all saw a cat by Brendan Wenzel. This is part of our Everybody Picture Books in Spanish. As the cat in the book gets seen by a boy, a dog, a bird, and other animals, the reader learns that perspective is a very important thing when looking at something because, depending on it, it can be very different. If your kid is flying through their picture book collection and they seem ready to start on chapter books, I recommend the Kondo and Kazumi series by David Goodner with illustrations by Andrea Tsurimi. Along with the beautiful color illustrations, readers will follow along with a pair of friends as they go on their adventures. They will be fun and there may be some frights, but either way, your kids will love this series. In today's graphic novel selection, we're having Your Pal Fred by Michael Rex. In the far off future, the apocalypse has happened. The world is destroyed. Every person is out for themselves until Fred is awoken. Fred is a robot friend. He was built before the apocalypse, and now that he's been awakened, he's gonna fix things for the better, starting with those two pesky warlords that are trying to start an all-out war. Bright and colorful artwork makes this the cheeriest graphic novel to be published about the apocalypse. You should read this because we all need a pal like Fred. On our last book recommendation for the summer, we have Never Caught, the story of Ona Judge, George and Martha Washington's courageous slave who dared to run away, by Erica Armstrong Dunbar and Kathleen Van Cleave. When we hear the name George Washington, we think of the brave general who helped with the American Revolution and became the first president of the United States. But he was a human being who also had faults. One of the biggest was that he and Martha were slaveholders. Ona Judge was an enslaved girl who moved to Philadelphia with the Washingtons when George became president. There she decides to risk her life and escape to freedom. This true story uses historical records to rebuild Ona's life before, during, and after her escape. This book can be hard to read because it's a sad subject, but it's important as part of understanding the full history of our country. Saints and Misfits by S.K. Ali is a great choice for teen readers that prefer realistic fiction. Jana sees three types of people in the world. There are saints, the people that you don't really notice but are doing amazing things to better the world. There are misfits like Jana that never quite fit in. And then there are the monsters. They look like saints, but they hide their true nature. As Jana pushes to overcome the trauma of an assault by the monster in her life, she meets new friends along the way that give her the support she needs. I recommend this powerful book to all YA fans. Find all of these great books at the Pflugerville Public Library.